The following report contains some disturbing images. An eight-carriage express train, tossed and turned with such violent force that some wagons were ripped in two. Since early morning, the cranes have been lifting the wreckage piece by piece. The investigators have begun their painstaking work, and already a theory is emerging. The film we're about to show you is the moment of impact taken by a trackside camera as the train approaches the bend. A warning, it is distressing to watch. You'll see that as the train hits the bend, the middle carriages buckle and tip. Inside were 218 passengers. Some were thrown out of the train as it hit the retaining wall. Their bodies were covered with blankets last night as firemen began a desperate search for survivors, smoke still pouring from one of the upturned carriages. The train was going very fast and it derailed as it was going around the corner. It's a disaster. I was very lucky we survived. I don't know how many dead there are, but there are many. Dios mío, el día de Santiago. The train was approaching the cathedral city of Santiago de Compostela. Officials described the crash site as a difficult bend with a speed limit of 50 miles an hour. But local reports say when the trap driver radioed his control room, he told them he'd been traveling at 120. The service was running five minutes late, fueling one theory they were trying to make up time. 131 survivors were transferred to the local hospitals. Jose Diaz from Cadiz told me he was searching for two friends. Three others from the same group are dead. I'm here with the daughter of one of my friends who was killed. It's been a long night. The most difficult part is when they bring the news. It's generally bad. <laughs> The doctors have warned that so serious are some of the injuries they're treating, the death toll, currently at 80, will probably rise again. Throughout the day, the families of the dead and the missing have been waiting inside this building for news with the help of doctors and the Red Cross. And every now and again, through these open windows, we can hear the screams of despair. It has been, for some, a very long wait. We're told the police are removing clothing and personal effects from the dead and bringing them to the families in the hope they can speed up the identification process. The Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy, was born in Santiago. On his visit to the site this morning, he declared three days of national mourning. At the moment, two investigations are being carried out. One is the judicial investigation, and the other one is by the Commission of Investigation of Train Accidents. The aim is to find the causes of this terrible accident accurately and as soon as possible. A state judge has now been appointed to lead the inquiry. Was it human or mechanical error that caused this carnage? It's the driver and the black box recorder that have the answer. Christian Fraser, BBC News, Santiago de Compostela.